Hey everyone, weather's cooperating with me today so I was able to get some work done on my truck. As of the last update, I've chopped out a section of the frame. <clears throat> there it is right there. And that's gonna be the first piece I'm gonna weld in, obviously. I'm gonna do it one, one piece at a time. I don't wanna chop out all the bad parts at the same time. But an important thing to note, I have it supported there and there. And there's a screw jack there. And it's held up um, by the bumper over there. Because obviously cutting out that much of the frame is going to make it bend like nothing. <clears throat> so I wanted to make sure that... Because initially I, I had the truck lifted up just by the <clears throat> by the bumper with those two uh, stacks of firewood but I was worried about the frame flexing up a little bit and I wouldn't be welding in the correct shape and size of of a, of a patch and that might cause the frame to be a little out of whack or make some unnecessary stresses in the in the frame so I tried supporting the frame in the same way that it would be supported if the leaf springs were attached to the frame and the load was going through the leaf spring hangers. So I have a jack there and there, which is close to the hanger. Of course, I couldn't put a jack over there. And I have a jack there, and I only have three screw jacks. So I figured that stack of firewood was close enough to the hanger, which is over there. It's only about a foot away. So, when I cut out this piece, I cut it this way, that way, that way, and then the second to last cut was here, and then, of course, I needed to cut out here as well. But when I made this cut, um, everything relaxed a little bit, and the the cut curve opened up just a little bit because everything was settling onto these jacks. So I turned up this jack until it pulled that curve back in together so it was even. And that indicated to me that um, the frame isn't flexed at all in an unnatural position. And when I weld in a patch, everything will be exactly in the same position and shape as it was previously. So that's all for the frame right now. I bought some steel the other day, and I'm gonna cut and drill and weld in a piece. I'm gonna use backing a backing plate so I can make sure the weld penetrates 100%, and then some into the backing plate. I'll talk more about that later when I actually do it. Then, up front, on the other end of the truck, I'm putting in an intercooler. This is a second gen intercooler. It's out of a 95, I believe. And I just, this morning, worked on getting this fitted up and it was it was a fair amount of cutting and welding and tinkering, or not welding rather, but a lot of, a lot of messing around, a lot of, you have to put it in, take it out, put it in, take it out. Obviously first took off the entire front grill and everything. And I made myself this, uh, this pattern so the first couple times I I align everything up, I can just use put this pattern up, and I don't have to worry about damaging the intercooler. So I ended up having to make a, a pretty large hole up here because the the uh, inlet and outlet had to be kind of pivoted in rather than just put in straight because these bumper guard things prevented the intercooler from just being pushed in straight. I had to kind of drop it down in like that, pivot it and push it in some more. Kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. So that's what the hole looks like on the inside. I had to cut out this web here on the uh, uh, radiator support bracket thing. Oh, 
shit. Oh, that was unplanned. That hammer was holding it up. That wasn't very wise of me. Anyway, so I had to cut out uh, some of this fender over here. And same on the other side. Uh, it's pretty close into the uh, uh, power steering uh, gearbox. So that will be a little a little uh, challenging. I think I'll just probably use a silicone 45 degree elbow to get myself out of out of the way and then make some tubing to go from the horn down. And it'll be a tight fit. I had to shave shave uh, shave off some of that hood latch bracket and also off of that and I will need to let me set this down here all right I'm not gonna use that hammer to hold up that was a bad idea I'm also gonna have to here's the grill I'm gonna have to cut out a lot of this plastic web on the uh, on the grill to make it fit. A lot of people I've seen they just take out this plastic crossed centerpiece thing to make to make room, but I think that looks pretty ugly. So I'm gonna see what I can do to keep the stock front grill. It's gonna have to be trimmed though, that's for sure. There's another shot of the hole. But um, that's that's about all I've done so far. Took the shocks off. All the shocks were bad, so I was getting new shocks. They're getting uh, KYB gas adjust shocks. So that's about it. Thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more.